All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting both of these. So eight is the same thing as two to the power of three. And 16, this is the same thing as, because this is double of six, eight, two to the power of four. So now if I replace two to the power of three with eight and two to the power of four with 16, I get two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to two to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of three to the power of x, that's gonna equal two to the power of three times x, which is two to the power of three x, and this is equal to two to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this is the same thing as m is equal to n. So, meaning these two exponents are equal to each other, meaning 3x is equal to 4. Now, to solve this, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. These two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to 4 over 3. And this is the same thing as one and one thirds. Now I actually have a second method to solving this problem. So for my second method, again, first start with a to the power of x is equal to 16. Now I'm gonna, instead of just simply putting eight and 16 in different forms, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log a to the power of x is equal to log 16. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this would e is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So this is going to equal x times log 8, which is equal to log 16. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by log eight. So then these two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 16 over log eight. Now log 16, this is the same thing as log eight times two. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log a times two, that's gonna equal log a plus log two over log two, or sorry, log eight, which is the same thing as log eight over log eight plus log two over log eight. And log eight and log eight, these two cancel out, so now I have x is equal to one plus log two, which is log two over log eight. This is the same thing as log two to the power of three. And now remember, I can move my x one to the front. So now I have one plus log two over three times log two. Now these two log twos can simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to one plus one over three which is equal to one and one thirds. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to x over nine. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by subtracting x over nine on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and now I have x minus x over nine is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply both sides by nine. So now I have x minus x over nine times nine is equal to zero times nine. Well, everyone knows that zero times any number is simply equal to itself. So zero times nine, that's simply equal to zero. And now the reason I multiplied nine on both sides is to get rid of this denominator, this nine in the denominator. So now when I multiply nine with x minus x over nine, 
the 9 distributes. 9 times x is 9x. And 9 times negative x over 9, these two 9s simply cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with negative x. Now I have 9x minus x is equal to 0. 9x minus x is 8x, so I have 8x is equal to 0. And this is simple. All I have to do is divide both sides by 8. These two cancel out. And now I have x is equal to 0 divided by 8, which is 0. Now I also have a second method to solve on this problem. And this is actually an easier method. So my initial problem was x is equal to x over 9. And this time, instead of subtracting x over 9 on both sides, I can simply just start by multiplying 9 on both sides. So then these two automatically cancel out, and 9 times x is 9x. So I have 9x is equal to x. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract x on both sides. And I have 9x minus x, which is 8x, is equal to 0. Now if I divide both sides by 8, I have x is equal to 0 divided by 8, which is 0. So that is a second method of solving this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 81. So the first thing is I'm going to rewrite 9 here as 3 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 81. I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of x over 3 over 3 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to first go ahead and start by checking the solution. So let's first start with x equals 1. Because I want to find, I need to find at least one valid solution to this before I can find all the other solutions. So I'm going to first start with x equals 1. If I plug in 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, so that wouldn't work. x equals 2. I get 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 minus 2 times 2 is 4, so I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So x minus 2 is a valid solution. So now, now that I know that x, my, x uh, equals 2 is a solution, this means that x minus 2 is going to be a factor of this. So now I have x minus 2 times something is equal to 0. And this means that if I divide this by x minus 2, I should get what the value of this. So I have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 divided by x minus 2. And you can either solve this in two ways. You can use long division or synthetic, the synthetic division method. Um, and your result should be that add these two, you should get x squared plus 2x plus 2. So now I have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, you're going to want to use the quadratic formula to solve this. And you should get that x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. So these are my three solutions to this problem.